in many ways, hip hop culture represents a particularly um, African American males being in places they're not supposed to be. Example. And, and uh, well, for most black males, um, they will never hear their voice amplified, literally amplified. They will probably not give directions to anyone except maybe their children or if they're abusive, their wives. They will not be recognized or admired for being innovators or being clever. Um, if it is, it usually has to do with something, some negation of themselves as people. And that hip hop reversed all of that. It's like when you get to the mic, you literally have the cape flying behind you. And people think, people think so. And if you are sufficiently good at what you do, they recognize it right then in real time. I just have a question how you tackle like discussing the whole issue of a lot of the lyrics being so derogatory towards women, the whole bitches and hoes and objectifying women and stuff in that way. How do you kind of tackle that and how that takes away from you know, the music and sure. I had the privilege of writing the first center of the book piece on hip hop for Essence Magazine. Essence Magazine is the magazine, national magazine uh, for black women. And in there, I said that um, rap music is, is what black men say about black women when they're not around. So in other words, it's unusually frank. And that this is the way that men talk about women. This is like actually our language about women. The problem is the relationship that males and females have. And then out of that problem comes problematic lyrics. So I'm saying that the relationship has to change before the content of the relationship changes. How much do you think rap has changed since the 80s and, and 90s? And do you think it's still relevant to black culture as much as it was back then? I think that it mostly has not changed, but I think that um, by which it's differentiated because of where it's made, uh, what country it comes from, where the artist is, subject matter certainly think that, you know, I heard um, an MC the other, the other day say, I'm high like a drone. Nice. That, that wouldn't have made any sense two years ago. That would have, certainly wouldn't have made any sense five years ago. That's like, he's using a, 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 a simile there that um, is just part of the current culture. So new words and new ideas. Remember the first time I heard an artist say, I'm blowing up like the world trade. That didn't mean anything for 2000. Well, it actually didn't. No, 1994. 1994, it meant something. Yeah. But, um. They, they censored that out thought. of the radio now. Yes. And that's that's in the radio edit. That, absolutely. That, like, is a, that is a radio edit now. <laughs> and then after a certain point, you wouldn't probably have said that necessarily, or you might've been more cautious or right. gotten edited. Yeah. So everything is going to be converted and turned into something that's functional for its ecosystem. And um, that still continues as well, is that there are more and there's more and more of it and more and more ways to do it. I'm interested in how hip hop artists see the world apart even from the things that they talk about in their records. And maybe with the idea that people who see the things they talk about in a unique way will also have a unique way of looking at the world. Sometimes, not always, but sometimes.